Hi everyone, this is Jason from Lightspeed, and today I'm going to be showing you how to publish items from your Lightspeed retail account to your e-com store. Now when you first set up your e-com store, Lightspeed will ask you if you want it to automatically publish everything in your inventory for you, or if you prefer to manually select the items you would like to have online. We're going to assume you've selected the latter, and I'm going to show you how to manually publish items to your e-com store. Let's start by taking a look at our inventory, clicking on inventory over here on the left, and then item search. This will show you all of the items that you have in your inventory, and we'll see over here on the right, we have a column called published ecom, and that's going to show you a simple yes or no whether or not that item already exists online. If you want to filter for just the items that are, we can open up our advanced search options here, click on published ecom, and click on search again. You can see here we only have four items online on our e-com store and we want more than that, so let's go ahead and add another one right now. I'll remove the filter and search again, and we're going to add this ring to our items. Once you open the ring, you'll see a handy checkbox down here that says Published Ecom next to it. It's as simple as checking that box and clicking Save Changes. That item now exists online. Now if you don't see that checkbox, that might be for one of a couple of reasons. It's possible you've reached your item limit for the number of items you're allowed to have in your online store. It's also possible that you're trying to upload a matrix item and there are already 100 items from that matrix in your e-com. If either of those is the case, you're going to want to make room for more items by deleting a few of the items and taking them down from the e-com store. And I'll show you how to do that now. Simply click Delete from Ecom over here, and you'll be greeted with this warning. Now it's important to note that certain information is only saved on the Ecom side of things. We're talking about things like HTML product descriptions, search engine meta fields, product weight, dimensions, a couple of other things. That information will be lost if you remove the item from the online store. However, sales and reporting information will be preserved. It's important to note that removing an item from ecom cannot be undone. But if you understand that, you can click this red button and take the item down. You'll also notice that you have a don't show this warning again until the next time I log in checkbox here. That's going to come in handy if you plan on making a lot of changes to your online store in one sitting, or you're going to be adding items and removing them all at once. In fact, if you're going to be doing that, I'll show you a quick and easy way to get that taken care of. Let's go over to Inventory, and we'll click on Quick Edit Items. Here we can see we've got only a bare bones listing of the product information, but up here along the top we've got some drop down menus, and this is going to allow us to add new columns to this screen. And the one we're going to be adding is Published Ecom. When we hit Search, you can see that it's opened up a list of checkboxes here to determine whether or not the item is already on ecom or to quickly add it. It's as simple as checking the box to add the item or clicking the trash bin to remove the item and you will get that warning once again. That's it for this video but be sure to check out our help center for lots more information and lots more videos.